everybody, welcome back to my YouTube page. I'm Miami, and this is Project Ann, and where I talk about HIV awareness, HIV education, news, updates, and everything that's going on around the world in HIV. So today, you guys, I come with a news story. This story comes straight out of Stanford University. Now the team there, they have been developing and they have been testing this new test that they want to bring to the market or bring out more to test more people by the end of next year. And this is a spit test. Now the difference between the spit test versus the oral test, they're saying that the spit test can detect HIV earlier compared to the oral test. So the one that we know that you know you scrape the sides of your mouth, they're saying that, that the spit test can be quicker, it can find HIV quicker because now this is some scientific stuff I'm about to break down for y'all real quick. You know, off the top, people are probably thinking like if they test HIV through spit, doesn't it mean that others can get infected with HIV or be transmitting HIV through spit? No, people, you cannot transmit HIV through spit. The only reason why this test is coming out looking so lovely is because the things that they put inside of that test for you to spit into it, those things catch what your body gives off after your body has received HIV in it. So when your body has received the actual HIV from DNA, your body starts to develop this protein called antibodies. Now these antibodies are just so thirsty, okay? This test has something in it that will attract those antibodies to it to make it a positive result that will make the test say, hey, there's some antibodies in his body, you know? So you cannot be uh, infected with HIV through protein you can only be infected with HIV through DNA and that's why because the amount of HIV that can even try to be transmitted to you through spit is like so small that and I know you're probably like girl what did you just say don't mind what I just said. You know I got links below for you guys to read up on it more. So make sure you read those links below. So tell me what you guys think. So do you think you'd rather take a spit test over a blood test? However, there's only been less than 50 people take this test. So they need to make sure they do this test more and more and more. This is not something that's about to hit the market like tomorrow. But they're just in the works of it. And I always like to bring up these type of stories. Stanford University, they're practicing. At least they're trying. And I like to see people trying. I love to see people trying. So. And also, you guys, I read that Bill and Melinda Gates actually love what they're doing with this test. And they're probably going to go ahead and try to use the same type of model for other diseases. Which I think is an amazing idea. Things like this. It just tickles my little fancy and I like to read up on things like new advancements when it comes to HIV and AIDS, what's going on in the world. So, right. Any trying stories are going to come up on this page just so you guys can know what's going on, what people are doing, that they're not just sitting back and they're actually being active, trying to help us get as close as we can to ending this thing in the HIV world. Let it be no more. You know, and hope any updates on this story, I'll make sure I come and present it to you on this silver platter that I have given you guys. <laughs> so, if you guys want to read more on this, the links are below. But until then, I'm here, you're here, we're here, we're in this together. So thank you all so much for listening. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave your comments below. Let's chitter chat, let's talk. See you guys soon. Make sure you are following me on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that button at the top, the notification bell. So when I do upload a new video, it's in your email already. And uh, 